Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. My name is Chris, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add an image background to a heading text in Elementor. So, at the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to make something that looks like this and this and even also be able to set a four bar color either solid or gradient color you can also use different kind of images the list goes on and on and on and on so without wasting much of your time let's dive in and get started okay so in our editing screen the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to add a flexbox container we're going to use select this structure and then we'll go to the advanced settings and i'm going to add a padding of 100 pixel all around and then i'm just going to unlink it and for the right i'm going to set the right padding to 20 pixel for the left i'm going to set the left to 20 pixel as well so this is what we get the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to add a heading text this text just drag and drop it here i'm going to align it to the center and then we'll go to the style option and then for the style option right before we go there let's change the text here let's change it to uh the creative arena have something beautiful like that and then we'll go to the typography now for the typography you can change the font family to whatever family you want to use it doesn't really matter the next thing we're going to do is just going to increase the size we're going to set it to 200 pixel so we'll have something as big as this whatever size you want it's up to you but for the purpose of this tutorial i just want us to see exactly precisely what we're going to achieve at the end of it all so we'll come down to the font weight and then we we'll set the font weight to 900 so that you have this thick feeling and then everything shows clearly so now once we've done this the next thing we're going to do before we proceed we'll go to the parent container this container here then we'll go to the style options the style options we're going to change the background type background color we're going to set it to black so you can see exactly what we're doing the next thing we we'll do we we'll just come to this heading text we we'll just click on this and then edit it go to the advanced settings and then scroll down to custom css now we're going to add some custom css here so a few lines of custom css not to worry if you have little or no knowledge about css i'm going to explain to you each section of the css and then for you to be able to customize it to suit whatever design you want to make and then also i'm going to attach this i'm going to pin this custom css code on the first comment of this video on youtube so you can just copy it and use it wherever you want to make use of it for free so now head on to my atom code editor this is my atom code editor as you can see you have two codes here now this one is for with solid four bar color i'm going to explain that to you and then we'll have the one with gradient four bar color now let's make use of this first one which is the solid four bar color and then we'll go back now copy and paste this here you can see that it disappears what the reason for that is our four bar color is black so we're going to set the four bar color to white to white so we can see it now i'm going to explain to you what this this is where we'll add our image url the image we want to add to the background of the heading text and then this one here is the no repeat option if you want the image to repeat you can just set it to repeat by removing this no this by removing this from it and then you can set the image to repeat but in this case we're just going to set it to no repeat and then this left center this is your image position now we can set it to center 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 right center bottom and so on and so forth just depending on how you want it to be so the next thing we're going to do is go going to our media and then this is the image we're going to use so just copy the image url here and then for the purpose of um for the purpose of uh, optimizing your website for speed make sure whatever image you're going to use here you've reduced it to the minimum size as possible so that it loads fast and it doesn't slow your website so this is the image you've added you can see it shows clearly now now let's practicalize what i've said now if we should come here to the positioning i will set it to center center let's change this left to center you can see it has moved to center center if we change it to any other position it's going to after reflect here so this is what we'll have here you can see this is beautiful so if you're designing a dark website as in the dark mode website this feature can really come in handy for you and also now in the situation where your image takes time to load or your image is broken or something you can see the four bar color this is the four bar color as you can see so the next thing we're going to do is i'm just going to duplicate this so i'm just going to duplicate this and then we'll come down here and then we're just going to go back and edit this and then we'll go to the advanced settings and then we'll come down to the custom css and i'm just going to remove this code here and i head back to my atom now we're going to make use of this one with a gradient four bar color now i'm just going to copy this out just going to copy this out and then I head back here then i paste it so you can see now this is not a solid color this is a gradient color you can see this is a gradient color now if we should change this background we should change this background to um let's say let's change the background to uh, white or something you can see the gradient color clearly you can see the gradient color clearly so now let's head back here 
let's head back here and then we'll go to the customs css option and then i'm just going to add an image same image as this I'm just going to copy this and then i'm just going to go back here and i'm going to paste it here so you can see this is what we have here this is what we have looks beautiful and also you can see this is the linear this is the gradient section where you can set it to how you want it to be these are the various colors and the percentage of each of the color now you can see you can just replace the color the various color this color here you can replace it with the color code replace this with the color code set your various percentage as you want it to be so that you can set whatever gradient you want to make use of and uh, i've already explained the no repeat and then the center center option and then this here is the link for the image you can still go back here and set uh let's say we select let's let's go with this color this image copy this image url and then we can just come here and then paste it here you can see this, this looks very beautiful and then imagine we go with uh let's see how it looks like with somewhat a bit uh a dark background like this you can see this this looks very very beautiful so that's pretty much it about how you can easily add an image to the background of a heading text on Elementor. So not so that's pretty much it about this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you find this tutorial beneficial to you, please remember to hit the like button. And if you're new to your channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when I drop a new video. Until then, bye bye.